art dealer raided by police will pay more than a quarter million dollars after admitting that he did not pay his artists. Channel 2 consumer investigator Jim Strickland says the case against gallery owner Bill Lowe was built by those with work on display. Lowe's website features a video explaining how his artists form the backbone of his gallery's appeal. And a configuration of works by artists that are very, very diverse, very multifaceted. But nearly a dozen of those artists triggered the raid by APD that led to Lowe's arrest and recent conviction for shorting them on sales proceeds. Just like you would at a consignment shop. I gave you my couch to sell for me. You sold my couch and you didn't give me the money? What? It's the same concept. Patricia Roy is an attorney for two of the artists. She says it was important to them that Lowe wrote this note of admission. I did not fully and properly reimburse the artist in a timely fashion as required. Finally, I am making all of the artists whole. Roy says the law is clear. The art dealer must pay the artist before he pays himself. Lowe has pled guilty to a single count of racketeering. Two theft charges are dismissed. His sentence includes 10 years probation and $256,000 in restitution. That money is already in escrow. And I think that's an important point. The DA has done a great job and uh, confirmed that money is, is in hand. Now, the DA's office says that Lowe already paid back $200,000 during the investigation, so there's only $256,000 left to go. That's why that's the restitution figure. Mr. Lowe did not return my phone call. Reporting in Midtown, Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News.